In this video, I'm going to solve a simple problem of a problem on normal stress. <clears throat> Here's the problem. Determine the largest weight W that can be supported by the two wires, AB and AC. The working stresses are 100 megapascal for AB and 150 megapascal for AC. The cross-sectional areas of AB and AC are 400 mm square and 200 mm square, respectively. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do is we cut a section in wire AB and AC and identify the force acting sa wires AB and AC. So, this is tension, tension force or resisting force of wire AB. And another word, resisting force of wire EC. <clears throat> and the third force is the double, the weight W. So to apply conditions of equilibrium, the forces are concurrent. So therefore, we can only use two conditions. Summation of force uh, horizontal and summation of force vertical. So what we're going to do is we get components of TAB and TAC. So this is TABX or TAB cosine of 30. And then this one, TA, a TAB Y component or simply TAB sine of 30 degrees. For EC, we have this one, TAC. X component and TAC Y. <clears throat> so first condition, we sum up for uh, horizontal. And there are only two forces. TAC X, X component is cosine 45. And for AB, it's cosine 30. We have this one. And then the other condition is summation of force vertical equal to zero, upward force positive. We have this one, TACY and TABY positive and W negative. <clears throat> so we have two unknowns, TEC and TAB. So let's use, uh, let's, let's use a calculator. So instead of method of elimination let's really use a calculator so we have these two equations now when you when you use a calculator uh, assume w as one and then sa value sa tac and tab you just attach w para pag input so i'm using this model Casio. So, mode 5. Mode 5. So, you press the mong 5. That's equation. You press 5. Equation. And equals 5. So, I'm appearing is option 1. Two equations, two unknowns. No? Two unknowns, x and y. Option 2. Three unknowns, x, y, z. Three quadratic x squared and four is cubic no, x cubed. So for this one, two unknowns, TEC and TEB. So we press one, press one, and we have this. <clears throat> so input ang coefficients like sa A, uh, A1 cosine 45, B1 negative cosine 30, Sig 1, 0. Uh, here we have E sub 2 sine 45. B sub 2 sine 30. And then C sub 2. Instead of W, input ka 1. And this is the result. <clears throat> Cosine 45 is 0 0.7071. Cosine 30 is 0 0.866 negative. And then 0, sine 45, sine 30, and then 1. And then press equal sign. 
Okay. X hour X is the ACL. And this is the value. And you just attach W. So TAC is 0.8966 or 897W. <clears throat> and then press the side equal sign. That's our Y or TAB. 0.732 of W. So considering Y, A, B, stress is already given 100 megapascal and and also the area, 400 millimeter square. And our unknown is W. So, considering wire AB, where the formula of stress equal to force over area, let's substitute the value of stress as well as the area. And then our force na to P is tension of AB, which is this one. Uh, so the stress of AB is 100 megapascal or Newton per millimeter square. Tension AB is 0.732W, while the area of AB is 400. So makancela units, millimeter square. So the unit of W is Newtons. So to solve for W, you cross multiply 400, no, 400 times 100 and then Divide it by 0 0.732. So this is the maximum weight that AB can support. Cable AB can support. Beyond this value, uh, the stress of AB will exceed 100. <laughs> so the, it's not fun. Delete point. So bara 100. Considering Y is the same formula of stress. Okay, the stress of AC is 150, while the area niya is 200. And the force of AC is 0.897W. Again, cancel millimeter square. And so, 33,444.82 newtons is the maximum weight that wire AC can resist or can support. And what is asked is the largest weight. The largest weight is the safest value. And the safest value is the smallest one. This one. The weaker of the weaker wire. So between the two, stronger and AB. So Mugovern uh, AC, therefore, the largest weight that can be supported by the two wires is 33.4 kilo newtons. Okay, so <clears throat> although you can express the the value in newtons, but you can also express the value in kilo newtons. And I hope that you have learn something from the video thank you for watching